Welcome to part two of the GBM training schools. And I'd like to just share with you quickly what is in our schools. Now, if you go to our website at www.gbm-schools.com, you'll be able to see all of this there on the web page. But I'd like to just tell you a little bit quickly about each of our schools and uh, what you will find available in those schools, the purpose of each one. So before you even enroll as a student, you may, ha may have a better idea of exactly what God is calling you to uh, and where God wants you to get involved. Now, the first school we've called the Fivefold Ministry School. Now, this is the most general it's like, if you like, it's a Bible school for people who are called to the ministry. In the old days, they just called these Bible schools, and mostly what they taught you was Bible doctrine. But of course, today, God is highlighting the fivefold ministry of the pastor, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. And so we want to teach you about the fivefold ministry in the school. So if you are called to the ministry, you're called to one at least, maybe more than one of the Firefold Ministry, and the Firefold Ministry School is going to give you everything that you need to begin to fulfill that Firefold Ministry calling. So the subjects that are in the school will tend to be subjects that everybody can do, no matter what you're called. So if God's called you to be a prophet, or a teacher, or apostle, or an evangelist, doesn't matter, the Firefold Ministry School is going to contain subjects that every single member of the Firefold Ministry should be studying. Now, the very first section is something that everybody should study. Now, I'm not telling you that it's compulsory and you have to study. I'm just telling you that if you miss these two, you've, actually, you, you've missed out on a lot more than you realize. Uh, we've, we've had people come in who think they know it all and they're ready to go for the top. And that's fine. We allow you that. But I would really like to strongly encourage you to go for what I call our twins. They are the most powerful. They're basic, they're intermediate, and they're advanced. It doesn't matter what level you come in, these two courses will set you on the right road of what God has called you to do. The first one is called fulfilling your ministry calling. And that will explain to you from the lower levels all the way to the higher levels exactly how a ministry calling takes place and how you can identify where you fit into God's plan for your life, how far you have progressed in your ministry calling, where you are likely to be headed, everything involved with your ministry, that course will make all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle fall into place for you. And if you ever had any doubts whatsoever concerning what God's called you to, by the time you finish that course, you'll know exactly what your calling is. And if you don't know what your calling is, you'll know where you're headed in order to find that calling. The other one is called using your ministry gifts. And that deals specifically with the abilities that you will need to carry out the work of the ministry. We're going to look at identifying what you have right now, or what you can develop, and what you need to reach out and receive from God before you'll be able to most powerfully and effectively do the work of the ministry. Between these two courses, our twins, you will have something that will just set you on the road to finding your destiny and what God has called you to. So don't try and skim over these. By all means, as a student, I would highly recommend that before you even start any of your favorite fancy courses, do these two. You say, but I, I, you know, I, I'm really keen to get into others. That's fine. You can do them all at the same time. You don't have to go through these first before you get to the others. You don't have to start at the top and work your way down. Okay? But start there and you'll find it'll drop a lot of pieces in place and you'll know where you're going. Now, amongst the fivefold ministry school, there are a lot of doctrinal courses. Boring. Is it? What happens when you go out in this world and people start asking you questions about the Bible? And even if you're called to be an evangelist and you begin to share, present the word to an unbeliever, uh, and you'll be amazed how much Bible doctrine unbelievers know. All the wrong kinds. If you don't know the word and know, know, don't know what the word teaches, you'll find that actually people are not going to listen to you because it's quite clear you don't know what you're talking about. So 
Bible doctrine, we have not presented heavy, theological, boring, highly intellectual studies in our Bible doctrine. We've taken the essential Bible doctrines, we presented them simply so that anybody can understand. In fact, our, our, our key phrase that we use is made easy. Bible doctrine made easy. Not simple. There's nothing simple about Bible doctrine. But we're making it easy. As complex as it gets, it's still going to be easy for you. And then there's going to be a lot of practical ministry courses going to show you how to actually do the work of the ministry, no matter which of the fivefold calling you have. And so the fivefold ministry school is a general school that's going to cover a lot of stuff that you will probably be using from now in the days to come until the day you retire or the Lord comes to get you. Everything there is going to be valuable. Our second school, of course, is the prophetic school. And this is probably the favorite one with most people. Everybody wants to be a prophet. You know that? Everybody wants to be a prophet. You know, I remember watching a, a, a movie called the Aristocats, a cartoon, some, some time ago. And there was, there was a little song that the cats sung in there. It said, everybody wants to be a cat. Well, you know, that's how the prophets are. Everybody wants to be a prophet. Well, that's fine, because God is starting a movement in the church. The new prophetic movement is like the old charismatic movement. It's going to be available to all believers. So it doesn't matter what your calling is. There's nothing to stop you getting into the prophetic ministry. It is available to you. So don't feel bad that you just want to be a prophet. But please don't only want to be a prophet. Be more. Because you see, you don't have to find which one of the fivefold God has called you to. Because in reality, you can actually work your way up into all of them. And by the time you get to the apostle, actually you're going to find out that the apostle includes the evangelist, pastor, teacher and prophet. So don't restrict yourself to the prophet. It's a good place to start. Under the prophetic school, you will learn the foundations of prophetic ministry. Starting with prayer and, 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 and intercession foundations. An awesome training course on how to pray, how to pray prophetically, how to use prayer. And if you're called to be a prophet and you don't feel like praying, then you're not called to be a prophet. It's that simple. If you have this passion to pray and you, you'd rather go to the room and pray than watch the movie, uh, if you'd rather pray than go out and have fun, well, then you've got the prophetic calling really bad. And this course is definitely for you. Okay. But everybody needs to learn how to pray. And this course is awesome. Given by my wife Daphne. She is called specifically to teach on this subject. She's written many books on this subject. And she's an expert on prayer. And you'll learn things about prayer that you didn't know. And then we're going to start you with prophetic ministry made easy. Again, our little main easy term that we use. Okay. Not simple, but made easy. We're going to show you how to move into the prophetic ministry and you'll be amazed how easy it is. You know, sometimes you see prophets operating publicly and you stand back in awe and say, wow, it must be awesome to be able to operate in ministry like that. It's actually very easy. And we'll show you in this course how easy it is. And before you know it, you'll find yourself operating prophetic ministry and doing things you didn't think you could do. We're going to look at prophetic ministry in practice. And one of the first and most important courses on this is our course, Prophetic Visions and Dreams. A prophet lives in visions and sometimes dreams. But everybody dreams. And as a prophet, you need to be able to interpret the visions God gives you and you need to be able to interpret the dreams that God gives you and you also need to be able to use the dreams of other people in order to minister to them prophetically. This course is one of the best I've given on the subject. It's the first time I've laid the subject out systematically and you will learn all about visions and dreams in a way you never ever knew before. Perfecting your prophetic ministry. Sometimes you look at these prophets and they just seem to flow. So awesome. They seem to get such amazing revelation. They seem to speak so eloquently. And you look at yourself and you just seem so inferior to them. 
You just seem to stumble. Your visions are boring. Your prophetic words, they're dull. Okay, this course is going to set you on fire. This course is going to take you back to the foundations and build a solid foundation and then take you higher so that all those things that you've started to learn to do, they're going to get better. You're going to perfect your prophetic ministry. And then part of this means developing your prophetic gifts. You know, we can get revelation, but some people seem to get it better. You might get a revelation and say, well, God, I feel that there's somebody here today who has a need. Uh, and that's great. But you see a prophet stand up and says, there's a lady here. She's about 35 years old. And she's got this, this, and this. And God, God has this to say to you. And you think, wow, how did he know that? I mean, he's got the same gifts of revelation I do. How come I don't get that? You see, you haven't developed those prophetic gifts to the place where you can use them that effectively. And this course will teach you how to step into the water, take these gifts and amplify them and make them more efficient until you can really function exceptionally well in those gifts. We're going to look at the fivefold prophet and you're going to learn about the office of the prophet and you'll find that flowing in prophetic ministry is one thing but when you move into office there's a new level of authority and power that you have and we're going to show you how you can identify when God is moving you into that office and what you can expect will happen to you as you move into those offices and what you will receive from the Lord as you move into that we're going to look at the functions of a prophet and I mean a prophet in office. I'm not talking about prophetic ministry, the functions of a prophet in office. Once you have reached that stage of being in office, how do you function as a prophet in ministry and in the body of Christ? You say, well, that's easy. You stand up and prophesy. Wrong. There's a lot more involved in functioning in prophetic office. And this course will teach you in detail everything that you can expect. Again, taking you to the next level. And then there's a new kind of prophet that most people have never heard of. It's called the fivefold prophetic entrepreneur. The prophetic entrepreneur. In other words, you're a business prophet. Well, I know there are prophets who think that they're called to prophesy to businesses. And sometimes they are hired by a business as intercessors. And that's kind of moving in the right direction, but there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people have got it all mixed up and all wrong and you need some clear teaching on exactly what happens when God takes you as a prophet and adds a business dimension to your prophetic calling. And again, we're not talking about prophetic ministry level. We're talking at prophetic office level. This course will teach you how to function as a prophetic entrepreneur. And that is our prophetic school. Gives you everything you'll need no matter what level your prophetic calling or what happens if God's called you actually to business? What? Is there such a thing? Which of the fivefold is business? <laughs> there is a fivefold business calling. And actually, you can get evangelistic entrepreneurs and pastoral entrepreneurs and teaching entrepreneurs and prophetic entrepreneurs and apostolic entrepreneurs. We've got a whole school dedicated to the subject of doing business God's way and doing business using the anointing of God. You're going to learn the principles of success. We have two courses called the New Way of Blessing. Been going for many years. They are foundation of learning to succeed in all areas of life. And especially when it comes to the temporal realm and business. We have a course called Keys to Creativity, which will teach you how to tap into the creative ability that God's given you and you'll be able to then use that ability in order to produce business enterprises that will be highly successful. Without a product, you don't have a business. We'll teach you how to create your own product, how to come up with new ideas that can be used in business. There's a course, course called Keys to Self-Motivation. If you've ever been in business, you'll know one of the most discouraging things is when everybody rejects you. Nobody wants to buy. The business is dead. Things are not going well. You get demotivated. You get discouraged. You feel like giving up. You need to learn 
to tap into something deep inside of you, your own inner power of motivation. And this course will teach you how to do that. And you don't have to rely on other people and go to motivational courses. You will learn to tap into your own self motivation and rise up and succeed. I wrote a book called The Blessing Code, which was written as a fictional story. But in The Blessing Code are some of the most powerful principles of success, both in the spiritual life and in the natural life combined together. And after some time, I felt God telling me I should take these principles and actually present them as a full training course because they contain things that are not in any of our other courses. So if you've never read The Blessing Code, well, I would get my hands on it right now because it's an exciting book to read. It's an awesome story, but it contains power, power to transform your life. And now as a student, of course, you'll be able to study it as an official course and apply those principles practically to your life. We'll be covering Christian business principles. I have an introductory course called Four Weeks with God in Business. I gave a lecture each day for four weeks and covered every aspect of doing business God's way. It's as though you could sit down with God every day for four weeks and discuss a basic business idea with Him. This course is like a, a general spread on Christian business. We've got a course called the God Kind of Business, which teaches you specifically how to do business God's way. Perhaps you don't even know where to start in business. How should you do business? What kind of business should you run? This course will give you everything, all the different business possibilities that are available to you so that you can have a very clear picture of where you can fulfill the business calling that God's placed on you. Psychology in business and ministry will teach you basic psychology on how to assess people. Very handy if you're in sales. If you meet a person and you start to sell them. Have you ever had this? Have you ever been in sales? You meet a person and you give them this awesome presentation. You see this guy, he's really keen. He's excited. He's ready to buy. But then when you come to close it, he says, this is really awesome. I'd like to discuss it with my wife first. Uh-oh. Why is he doing that? Very simply, because his wife is a much stronger temperament than him. And actually, she's more of a decision maker and a leader in business transactions. Now, if you'd been able to assess this person's temperamental and character makeup before you started presenting to him, you would have known this is not the kind of guy who's going to make a decision today. If he's married, I guarantee his wife is the decision maker. And you would immediately change your whole approach. You'd get him excited about the project and say, I'd like to meet with you and your wife and tell you about it. And make a new appointment and then present your full sales pitch to her. Well, that's just in business. What about in ministry? You can use the same principles in ministering to people. You can assess a person within five minutes of meeting them and know what kind of person you're dealing with. Basic human psychology, totally scriptural, not based on the psychological systems of this world, but something you can use in both business and ministry. The practice of business. What is business? Business is selling products, isn't it? The practice of business is a total, detailed, scriptural course on how you should go about selling God's way. Awesome series that teach you principles on selling that will open the way, take away all your fear of selling and make you highly successful as a business person. The seven pillars of business will show you seven principles that need to exist in any business before it can grow and succeed. You'll be able to take these principles and look at your own business if you have one, or look at the business that you are employed at, and you'll be able to see straight away which of these seven pillars is missing. You'll be able to tell why this business is either succeeding or not succeeding. Because unless all of those seven principles are in place, a business cannot succeed. 
You need to know these so that you can help other people in their business and so that when you start your own business, you can make sure you do it the right way. And then business always involves working with people. Whether you are an employer employing people, whether you're an employee rubbing shoulders with other people, no matter where you are, you are involved with people in the business environment and you need to know how to develop relationships with people that will make you effective in what you do. And so our course Developing Business Relationships goes into this in a tremendous amount of detail. We'll show you exactly how to handle people in the marketplace and to be highly successful in business. And then we have the five-fold business courses, the God Way to Wells which goes into detail concerning the business calling. The fivefold entrepreneur, which shows exactly how God calls people to not only a fivefold ministry, but now to a fivefold business. And you will learn how each of those five ministry functions can be transformed into business functions. You will learn principles of success. The Way to Success course will teach you how to succeed in life how to rise up from failure to success, no matter what you're doing, whether it be ministry again or business, but it's got a specific business emphasis because that is how we want to succeed in this life. And a little course called Making Your Dream Come True. That's especially for people who don't want to go into the full detail. It takes a few basic principles, puts them together, and gives you an awesome course to run on, on how to take yourself from where you are right now to where you want to be. That is our fivefold business school. Are we nearly there? We're nearly there. Bear with me. You say, well, I've got so much that I can get into right now. You don't even need to tell me more. Well, you know, we like to over deliver. We like to give you even more than what you need. And after all, there's no rush. You can study for as long as you like. What happens if God has put in you a desire to really help people. Uh, all around you, there's people who are having problems. There's people who are going through divorce. There's people who are going through romantic problems. Uh, there's single people who are battling to find a spouse. There are people who are suffering all sorts of conflicts and unhappiness and depression and all the problems that these days people go to the shrink for. Hmm? That's the end thing in the world, isn't it? Go to the shrink. Go to the psychiatrist. Pay him big bucks for him to sit and listen to you and then give you no advice whatsoever. Because that's about what had happened. Now we're going to give you how to counsel God's way. And if you think that counseling is something that is only for the experts, that you've got to have a medical degree and that you've got to become a psychiatrist, that is not true at all. God has given you all that you need to be able to counsel people in the most severe mental, spiritual, and psychological problems. And we'll show you how to take the Word of God and the Spirit of God and actually help people no matter what condition they're in. We'll teach you the essentials of counseling and we'll show you the difference between God's way and the way of psychiatry and psychology in a course called God and Psychology and Counseling. We'll teach you how to solve counseling problems by taking each specific kind of problem. Things like anger, things like fear and worry and depression. Some of the things that plague us. We'll show you how to counsel and solve every one of those problems in a person's life. We'll teach you how to counsel those who are seeking to get married with premarital counseling. We'll teach you how to counsel people who are having marital problems with our course on marriage counseling. We'll teach you how to do pastoral counseling using the Word of God. Nothing more than the Word of God. No psychology. Simply taking the Word of God and actually applying it to people's lives and bringing the change that they need. But you see, the Word isn't enough. We also need the Spirit. And especially if you have a prophetic orientation, and anybody can flow in prophetic ministry, we'll teach you how to do prophetic counseling where you counsel by the Spirit, where instead of guessing, God actually reveals to you what the person's problem is, and He shows you exactly 
how to minister to that person. And you actually set them free miraculously by the power of God. Not just by talk, 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 but actually by the power of God, you can set people free in the counseling situation. All of this is covered in our counseling school. And then last but not least, the highest of all is our apostolic school. Not many people are ready for this. This is very high level stuff. And actually, if God's called you to be an apostle, you should have learned already how to function in the other four, as I said before. So the courses that we have in our apostolic school, many of them are actually even still now in preparation because so many people are not ready for this and we've got to take it to the higher level. But if you have already come to that place where God has begun to move you into apostolic calling, we have some courses available to you right now and some that are currently in preparation, but we have a large number of courses. You see, the apostle is called to change the face of the body of Christ. The apostle is called to form the new, the future church that God has. And you'd better know what God wants his church to look like before you can fulfill the apostolic calling. And so our courses are designed to not teach you simply how to stand up and say, I'm an apostle. But to actually do what only an apostle can do. We'll start by teaching you apostolic ministry made easy. That's our standard. It starts at the beginning, shows you what's involved in apostolic ministry. Then we have a course called Building the New Church. And what this church will give you is the right pattern that you should be using. You see, if you've grown up in church or been exposed to church, you've seen a lot of ways of running church. But you know, they are not the way that God wants His future church to be. We're going to show you what God's future church is going to look like. We're going to start giving you some ways of changing the church. And as an apostle, that's what you're called to do. Bring change to the church. And so building the new church will give you some new things to do you've probably never done before. We're going to teach you to build a team because as an apostle, you can't do it all by yourself. You are a coordinator. You're a master builder. You bring all the workers together. You bring the architects together. You bring the whole lot together. So you'd better know how to bring a team together. You better know where to find the right kind of people to bring into your team and to build a team that is an expert in all areas. We'll teach you how to do that in this course. We'll teach you how to come into a closer relationship with God the Father with the Lord Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit. We've all had experience, but as an apostle, you come into a place where you walk in light, where you come into the throne room of God the Father Himself. And until you've come to that place, you haven't even begun to move into your full apostolic authority. We're going to show you how to get to know the Lord Jesus in a way you've never known him before. We're going to show you how to get to know the Holy Spirit intimately in a way you've never known him before. We're going to show you how to get to know God the Father intimately in a way you've never known him before. And we're going to teach you about the fivefold apostle. We're going to show you what the apostolic calling is and what it is to rise up into full apostolic office. And when you rise up into full apostolic office, you're going to find that there isn't just the apostolic office but there are actually seven different kinds of apostle in the apostolic office. We're going to show you exactly what those seven apostles are so that you can begin to understand what God's been doing in you and what he's called you to. We're going to teach you about the apostolic trainer. We've spoken about the training level that we've given in our schools. Well, if you as an apostle have been called by God to train others. That's what an apostle does. We must teach you how the apostle trains. And there are actually seven main functions that an apostolic trainer must carry out. And we got a special course that will teach you exactly how to do those. And then if God's called you to business, you need to know what the apostolic entrepreneur is. And we got a course for that. And then each of the seven apostolic types is going to have a course of its own. What are the seven apostolic types? They're based on seven characters from the Bible. The lives of those people are pictures, symbols of how 
the apostle will function in these types. And so we have the Abraham apostle, we have the Jacob apostle, the Joseph apostle, the Moses apostle, the David apostle, the Joshua apostle, and the Solomon apostle. And finally, the apostolic master builder. And this is the ultimate course. This is the one course that is not yet available to everybody. But as you enter into the apostolic and you are ready and we feel that you're qualified, this is the one course that is going to take you to the ultimate level. And in this course, I will be presenting something that has been a mystery, that has been a secret, that has been hidden away until now, which I call the mystery of the end times church. The church of the future is not what most people think it's going to be. And nobody has taught on exactly what the future church will look like. Most people have seen the future as the church falling away and going into darkness and the Laodicean church. This is not God's intention for the church. The mystery of the end times church will take you to the ultimate apostolic level where you'll be ready to help create the church that will be on this earth when Jesus returns. That is your ultimate function as an apostle. So as you can see, we have many different levels. We've covered them in five different schools. All of this is available to you right now. And if you're feeling overwhelmed by all of these subjects, don't worry. Start where you are, take it at the speed you can, learn bit by bit, and keep feeding that data in. Keep upgrading yourself. Keep rising up to the next highest level until you find ultimately the final calling that God has actually placed on your life. And only then will you have the satisfaction of saying, finally, now I am where I always wanted to be. Finally, I found my place. This is the calling that God has for me. All of this is available to you now as a student or a trainer in GBM training schools.